There are many machines or vinyl cutters that you can use for making stickers or car decals with. And they all come in different shapes and they're all different prices. But just keep one thing in mind. You get what you pay for. And in this episode, we're going to show you, of course, a project that we recently did with our Graphtech CE6060. But we're going to show you some of the projects that we have done just on 2023 and the potential of you starting your decal business today. So that way you can make good money too. So let's begin with the materials that we're going to use for this project. For our vinyl, we're going to use the Oracle 651, which is the most common vinyl that we use for car decals. And the transfer, the R-Tape Clear Choice AT75. And of course, we're going to use the Graphtec CE6060 for this project. And we use Corel Draw 6 for vectorizing our images and the CM3 to cut the designs with our Graphtec. Now, in the past, we have done car decals with our Cameo 4, like the one you're watching here. So I invite you guys to check out our channel and watch the full episode because we did this car decal project with just a 12-inch cutting plotter, which is the Cameo 4. And here you can see the roller tape, which is the tool that we use to align the vinyl with the Cameo 4. And it is a very handy tool. So if you have or if you are planning to get a Cameo 4, we recommend that you get the roller tape for adding your transfer and also for aligning your vinyl, which is the main purpose of this tool to add your own transfer, especially if you work home alone or if you don't have enough hands to help you. And the price for the Cameo 4 as of 2023 goes around $280 to $350 and that is just the price for the vinyl cutter of course and you still have to get all the material but the good thing about Cameo 4 is that the software which is Silhouette Studio can be downloaded for free the basic version and here's another car decal project done but with a different machine and it was done with the US Cutter Titan which cost around eight hundred to nine hundred dollars as of 2023 and you will need the vinyl master software for cutting your designs we have the full episode in our channel of course we appreciate if you give us a like subscribe and turn on your notification bell for future videos so this is how we work in order for us to send the customer an estimate he needs to bring the car to our place we take the measurements and then we take pictures from the spots where he wants his decals like this then after we vectorize his logo we send the picture samples with the pictures that we took with an estimate but as you can see, this dated from last year. So he waited for around six months until he made up his mind and decided to go for it. One of the things that we recommend when you're going to cut big decals like this one is that you align your vinyl and make some tests first to make sure that it's going to be OK for you to before sending the design, because if you don't align it, you might ruin the whole project. When making big car decals, we always recommend that you add some weeding boxes. And there are different ways that you can do that. One, by adding them manually with your software. In this case, we use Oracle 651. But as you're watching, you can also add them with your CM3 if you are using a graphic like us. Another trick that you should know is that when you are weeding out vinyl, and if you are weeding out letters, it's best if you start from right to left. And numbers, it all depends what numbers you have. For example, if you have too many threes, if you have too many sevens, or if you have too many fours, it's better if you start from left to right. If you have the other numbers, then it's better if you start from right to left. But again, it all depends what numbers you have. And the shapes also depends on the type of design. 
Then after cutting all of our designs with all different colors that we were gonna use for this project, it was time to add the transfer. And this is how we usually do it. Well, at least most of the time. But as you're watching, you can also use the transfer roller tape that you see here to add your own transfer. And you can get them through the links that will be posted on the first comment of this video or on the description. We will also post the links for the other tools that you see us use for this type of business. And here's all the decals and colors that we were going to use for this project. And it was around 48 square foot of material that we were going to use for the project. And we spent around five hours of labor doing everything, installation and setting up. But remember when this guy took six months to make up his mind? Well, for him taking so long, we now have a new system and we were charging not so much because the first estimate was for $760. But now the, with the decal calculator system, it's telling us that we should charge around $860. But in reality, we charge him $820 because he's a returning customer. And this is the third van that we put stickers on. But if you like to use this decal calculator, you can just click on the join button and choose the gold membership below. And we have more videos about how to use this calculator if you like to watch. All right, now it's time to clean the surface. And of course, we're gonna use the rapid tag, the same one we use for um, layering colors and to clean the surface. And that is a very important step before you apply the stickers because if you don't clean your surface the stickers might come off okay so we're gonna start with the logo that has uh, four or five colors i believe and we're gonna do the first layer uh, i believe we're gonna do a dry application but saul is gonna use the cutting knife uh, right now the sun is making a little more the, the, the paper it's a little more it's it, it takes longer to come off but yeah you saw Saul cutting the the paper with the cutting knife now he's gonna secure he's gonna go down like that first and secure the the decal and the surface then he's gonna switch to this method of using the squeegee we noticed that when you do it like this it uh, avoids more bubbles like in the surface but sometimes you can't help it uh, maybe a few will be left but as long as you use oracle 651 you don't have to worry about the bubbles because they they come off after time i mean after the sun does its job you don't have to worry about it and i want to point out something here the transfer looks a little wrinkle and it's just the transfer not it will not it's not going to affect the vinyl and then after we remove the transfer of course we're gonna do it carefully because uh, we're using the r tape the at75 which is a high tack so even if it was applied dry you still gotta remove it carefully and that's what Saul is gonna do now and you see those squares there those are the registrations that we're gonna use for the yellow color i already see one or two bubbles not a big deal you can get rid of them with the wither once I get to this section, like we said, we'll find out if the vinyl wrinkles or it's just a transfer. Hopefully you guys can see it's a bit solid and maybe a few bubbles, but uh, like I said, you don't have to worry much about the bubbles. The, you can still use the weeder yeah. if it bothers you. I'm going to make them um, small and then once I make it as small as I can, I'm going to make a little hole here. Not too bad, not too big, I mean. <laughs> and it should should be gone and i'm gonna do that to the other one here or i can probably just squeegee it out like probably use the squeegee maybe let me try that instead of making a hole i just don't want to damage the vinyl though see i was able to bring it out yeah probably do the same to these right here all right now it is time to add the second layer which is the yellow color and we're gonna use rapid tag so we're just gonna add some just don't drop it <laughs> 
almost dead. Oh, we forgot another section here that we have to cut from the the decal here. We need to move this somewhere <laughs> else. We, we did, did it on again. the end. <laughs> yeah, we did exactly the same thing on the other side. And that's uh, like once I looked at it and I'm like, oh, we oops, we've done it again. <laughs> it's OK. Yeah, I mean, it's it's wet. So just remove that, put put it somewhere safely, maybe use a magnet. I'm going to apply more of that rapid tag because uh, I think it dried a little bit. You want your side first? Yes. Yeah. All right, now I can start squeezing all the rapid tag out. And it shouldn't take very long for this to be ready to remove the, the, tra uh, the transfer. All right, now we're going to do this side. Uh, we could probably just do the other side, but we decided to let it dry a little bit. It doesn't take very long, but we decided to focus on this side. And we're gonna do it this way. Uh, we're gonna do half way down and use the cutting knife, of course. Cut through the paper and squish it down. Then we're gonna focus on the upper side. By the way, we're not using any tape. As you can see here, it's all magnets. Yeah, that, those magnets can save you a lot of money. You don't have to use a lot of tape of the blue tape, which is the one that we use to avoid scratching the surface. And so far it looks good. All right, now we're gonna do the, the upper side and do exactly the same, but squishy up. Now we're gonna do this, but I'm gonna try and just squishy up because sometimes the transfer might wrinkle and I'm saying this because <laughs> that happens to us on the other side it wrinkle and it kind of ruined the, the sticker a little bit but we use the rapid tack to fix it so no problem but we still don't want any more delay so I don't want to risk it so basically basically what he did he removed the letters and applied rapid tack and put them back and yeah yeah that's, that's how, how we rescue them yeah all right, now we're going to remove the transfer and again, let uh, do it carefully because this is a, this is a high tag transfer. I'm going to try to remove this transfer here. Hopefully I won't have to wait any longer. And in the meantime, Luis is finishing his side. And then after I remove this, then we can start applying the next layers of vinyl and we're going to use rapid tag for that. And uh, one of the reasons why we also use the rapid tag is to avoid bubbles. Although you can see a few here, but we can still use the squeegee to send them out. All right, now that we combine the second layer, it's time to remove the registrations. We don't need them anymore. And as you saw, I barely touched the surface. No damage. Just be careful with it. Let me show you again. Just pick the, the corner like so and just grab it just make sure you don't eat your nails like i do we're gonna add the third layer which is the silver or gray whatever but it's yeah it's the silver yes yeah, the silver yeah. and this is how we're gonna do it so all is gonna focus on one side now this is gonna be a little tricky because silver it's a very light color and as you can see the band it's white so they're both very light colors, so I'm gonna try to use our best eyesight. And yeah, it looks good. As you can see, you can't see anything. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now we're gonna do one of the biggest uh, stickers which measures around 107. I don't know if you can see it, we use the magnets to reposition and measure it. Now we have it where we want it and we're gonna divide it into sections, so. We're gonna start it with this side. And we're doing that while we wait for the yellow uh, color to dry. And basically, Saul is gonna do the same process. As soon as he finished there, like he did now, he's gonna remove the blue tape and just keep uh, advancing and keep cutting it into sections until uh, the whole thing is done, so. Okay, now I wanna show you that not everything is nice and beautiful and easy it's, this happened to us and Saul is gonna fix it uh, he's gonna show you how we fix uh, when stuff like this happen which is unavoidable 
Uh, sometimes, like I like I mentioned, it could be the transfer. If it gets too uh, too much tension, this might happen to you. But no problem. As as long as you use rapid tag, or you have rapid tag next to you, no biggie. And this is how Saul is fixing it now. Now let's see what he figures out here. Probably I'm gonna peel it, like the whole thing off because if not. Yeah, yeah, I think I'm just going to peel it off, probably, the whole thing, probably. But one of the things we do when we peel off, and, and if it's dry, is we add more rapid tag, so that way it doesn't, you don't stretch it yep. too much, because if you do that, then you can definitely ruin the, the whole sticker, so. But we, uh, the transfer is no longer there, so no problem. We just gotta wait until it dries out, and then, boom. That simple. Now we're gonna add the other color which is the yellow one and kind of like a puzzle you just gotta find the best um, match and once you think you have it then just get all the rapid tag out and then we're gonna let it sit there for a few minutes maybe a few seconds and then do this side all right here comes the final color of the design which is the red and same thing just trying to find the best match Use the squishy to get the rapid tag out and we're gonna leave it there for a few minutes Let it dry and then we're gonna start working on the final Side which is the back and we'll be finished and we'll show you the final result Then after a couple of hours, this is how the van looked before the project and now This is how it looked like a few hours later and the results were amazing well, this is it for this video and just remember the final conclusion of this video is no matter what type of vinyl cutter or machine that you decide to get, whether it's the Graftec CE6060, the Cameo 4 or the Titan, because in the end, what matters is what you want to focus on and the type of market that you want to target. We believe that any machine you decide to get or any market that you decide to focus on, it is good. And always try to look for information before buying your equipment, like feedbacks, ratings, and tutorials available for the equipment that you decide to get. Make sure that you get and gather enough information before you purchase your equipment. Thank you guys so much. We will see you guys again on the next episode. And don't forget to give us a like and subscribe. We will see you again soon.